Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Factorio. Uh, where have I been? No, I disappeared. Well, this is technically episode four, but at the same time technically number three, because I filmed number three, and I've been trying to get it rendered, and it just, it won't render. I don't know what's wrong with it. It just, it won't work. So I got all this work done. I got red science set up. I got uh, gun turrets automated. I got uh, assembly machines automated. All this craziness. This was all supposed to be episode three, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> every single time I try to render that file, it crashes my software. And I, it's not like I'm going to be able to just like tear it all down and refilm it. So, unfortunately, we just get a bit of a jump. Um, I did also secure that area down there. I can't remember if I showed that in two or if that would have been in three. But if you see there, we've got this lovely blue line. There's a wall there with some gun turrets. Now, this spot is still an issue, but I've got like kind of a wall there. You know, it's kind of protects us against basic attacks. We'll see. But because we're going for the achievement of not using laser turrets, I figured automating gun turrets is going to be the way to go. Because I'm going to have to use um, logistics. Now, there is another achievement to... What is it? Not use any active provider or requester chests. That means I can use passive provider, and that's fine. So what I can do is have um, a passive provider chest filled with gun turrets, and then just have building bots that would like replace the gun turrets if they ever get destroyed. Now, unfortunately, um, without requester chests, because it does say no requesters, yeah? Yeah, without requester chests, getting them ammo is going to still be a little bit of a hassle. We're going to probably have to deal with a decent train track setup. But that's in the future. Right now, we've got red science. Today, it was always planned, let's get green science. I mean, I've kind of researched... I think actually... I've, no, okay, these couple of things that are still just red... But really, I want to get into green. So what does green science take? Well, it takes inserters and transport belts. All right. Basic stuff. Transport belts, iron. Simple. Look at that. I mean, super simple. I'm actually thinking um, we could probably just slap that down. Do a little bit like that. Actually, we're going to need to make one of them a little longer craft us up a couple of these guys and we're definitely going to have to automate those things and select that do that give it some juice and away it goes it's making inserter or transporter belts so perfect so what we can do with that it's not really something we need to belt because the only reason I'm going to use these is A, for the green science packs, and B, to upgrade into the red conveyor belts and subsequently the blue conveyor belts once I get that research right here. See, it takes five more gears and the yellow belts. So because it takes gears, if we plan ahead a little bit, what if we do something... Put a chest in between them. Yeah, of course. I'm going to grab everything. Craft a whole bunch of fast inserters. Give that some juice. And just do a little bit like that. So now this is not going to be in use yet. But 
for the time being, let's let that run. Limit that to just one stack. Just so that there's a bit of a buffer. So that I can not only pull into making the red belts, but I can pull this direction into making the green science packs. Without, you know, overwhelming this one little machine. Because it'll fill up the buffer while these two aren't operating. So we'll actually then use this to fuel itself. How are we going to get these guys? Actually, look at that. You know what? Let's change our plan completely. Because... The inserters are just too perfect because they require electronic circuits, gears, and iron plates. Well, looky what's all right here. So, we should take advantage of the ease that these can get crafted. And then what we can do... If we do something like that and like that. We can output them onto the same conveyor. And from there, we can lay down... All these guys uh, select green and then shift right click shift left 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 there we go they're all set oh I don't have any more fast inserters all right there we go here you have those and then we just do a little like a dish. And a something like a dot, and a something like a dot, and a something like a dot. And woo, look at that, they're all going. So now we've got a whole bunch of green science being produced. And that is just swell. Next on the docket, we... Ah! Okay, there's those frame rate issues again. I don't know what's going on with that. I really don't. But it's super annoying. All right. Well, let's see if this improves things at all. I have switched recording software. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad when you have to switch recording software in the middle of an episode because you have FPS issues on a game that looks like it could run on an NES. No, it wouldn't actually run on an NES. This is way better than 18-bit, but or 8-bit, eight, eight not 18-bit. Oh, jeepers. Now, now my brain isn't even working. And you need your brain in this game. So let's get it back in the game. So we've got a whole bunch of science. I'm sorry if you didn't see me making the green. Tough luck. Computer wants to be belligerent, then whatever. I'm going to do what I have to do to get this working, because this is getting really annoying. Anyway, uh, so we're going to need more science labs, that's for sure. Because... I mean, we've got a line of these guys. Why, uh... Why only have a few, right? Let's grab some of that, some of that, craft all of them. Get you in there, get you in there. Alright, so now, you know, we can kind of do some red and green. So, I think I want to go for power poles, just because the medium power pole is extremely useful. Um... With these guys, you can see their supply area is 5x5, five five, and the wire reach is 7.5. These guys, wire reach of 9, supply area 7.7. 7. 
And then you also get these guys where supply area four to by four, not so great, but the wire reach is 30. So these are like, you know, going long distances. This is the type of wiring that you see on a highway in real life. So let's get that going. And we've got red science. We've got green science. We're peachy. Now I could go and put more science labs on this side. However, uh, we're probably going to need to run the other two science types there. I mean, I might move this. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe once I get rid of these aliens, I'll, uh, I'll be able to expand my science facility. We'll see. For right now, let's just worry about getting this done. I could probably actually fit one more. And the more, the merrier. Let's do that. Get it a couple of conveyor belts. And what do I need for that? Well, more conveyor belts and electronics. All right. Done. And, yeah, basically, the more labs you have, the faster it goes. So, no complaints with adding more labs because they each do their own part to research and we get our research faster while we're researching that i say let's worry about automating something like fast inserters because that's what we're going to use primarily now that requires well let's see what are all these require that requires iron plates and gears and that's just electro oh that also requires the fast so Definitely the iron plates, gears, and circuits, again. Well, we could... Hmm. What we could do is... No, I don't like that. If we make like a little conveyor there, we're kind of already determining that we're not going to put the other science here. Just because I do want to get rid of that alien hive and expand my territory. But we need a supply of yellow inserters for these two. Now this is where it's going to get a little tricky. Because how are they going to grab all the resources while simultaneously grabbing these guys? I don't know. We could try and run them like there. But how do I get them there? I mean, we can do that, but then we lose power. And I need the medium old power poles. Uh, unless. Perfect solution, actually. The long armed inserter. And then we just. Do an underground belt for this guy. Like that. And that goes like that. So there we go. Now we can set this down and that down. Set you to the long-handed, you to the fast. Simply because we're going to need the fast for the smart inserters. So rather than stick that in the middle and make it a complete complication to get your hands on them, put it on the outside. Okay, so this is going to need inserters and cop. Okay. Not copper, but we're actually going to need two of these guys because you will go right there. Actually, wait. Oh, no. How? Because uh, iron plates and, and gears are on two different paths. Because what I'm thinking I can do is... Um... Oopsies. If we do something like that, 
we can kind of sneak that. Or no. No, no, not that. We can kind of do this. Where then, if we power that, there we go. It grabs them, it crafts them. And then we can kind of do something similar for this one. Although this one will be a little less uh, compact. Well, not compact, but it won't use three inserters because I'll just do that and that. And we need more belts. And we do that. And there we go. Now we're auto crafting fast inserters. Now to make the filter inserters, we need the fast ones and more circuit boards. And that's nice and easy. We can just put a gap, do that. Bring this up. Um, I know I don't need this, but I want to make sure that the bus still works under all these inserters. And use one of them, use one of those to that. And there we go, we'll make filter inserters. Et voila, we have ourselves a whole bunch of inserters automated. Now, unfortunately, this does kind of get in the way of steel, but I could probably jig steel around it temporarily just for the sake of getting this stuff done. Now, how do I empty these and get them on belts of their own? I don't know. We don't have to worry about these guys because I don't need them belted any more than they are. They're going to research. They're going to crafting of better ones. That's all they're useful for anymore. The red guys. I might be able to get away with something kind of cheeky. Let's see here. If I can craft one of those. What if I do something like that? And then like that. Ha! Ha! I can. Isn't that cheeky? Okay. Um. What we can do then is push that up to there and do the exact same thing with these ones. Is push them under like that. Now, of course, that's really going to muck with the steel still but whatever i don't care i'm getting these things belted now the filter inserters i'm gonna have to do the same thing yet again so let's get rid of that do that to that Oh, whoops, no, that's that line does not go anywhere. That line is useless to go further. Here, have a whole bunch of inserters. Research is almost done, that's good. Uh, okay, no, I need iron plates. Craft that, and do that. And then, there we go. And actually, you know, now that I think about it, do I really need these bus together anymore? Just, ooh, I don't want, okay, let's jig them like that, just so that they're not trying to mix with that, and they're not going there. And really, copper and, because like copper and iron are bust by themselves, these are like the mixed lines. Do I ever need copper and iron gears again after this point? I mean, I'm going to say probably, but let's remove it in the meantime. We can leave things as is, just because we've kind of already future-proofed it, as it were. But... Hmm... 
for right now, let's just leave that as is. Why are you not crafting? What are you missing? Electronic circuits. Why can you not reach electronic circuit? Oh. Because that arm right there was supposed to grab them, and now you can't. Because I'm a gigantic derp head. Alright, what if I move the arm up there? Problemo solved. And here, have those. There we go. Look at that. Aren't I just great? Do that. Kind of bust all the inserters together. Perfect? I think so. Come on, finish the research already. You can also research, like, uh, speed upgrades for the labs, so I'll probably do that kind of stuff pretty soon. Right now, I've just got more pressing things, like being able to take out these guys. And... Running my base. That's a lot of long-armed inserters going a little nutso. But it's cool, and it's making me all the types... Well, not all the types. There's there's um, stack inserters later on that can grab more than one item at a time, and those things are useful. But I will get to those later. Right now, I don't have those, and I'm not about to. And that's okay. And I may not bust them together. I don't know. I mean, there's room on the filter inserter line, but there's two types of stack inserters because there's stack inserters and then there's filter stack inserters. Yay! Research done. All right. With that, what next? Should probably go towards those, although I could yeah i think advanced material processing is what i should go for next so now we've got the medium electric poles and rather than wood and copper wire they require steel plate and copper plate that's not a problem look at all this steel and all this copper so let's craft a whole bunch of medium power poles and see if you look at the small ones you look at the medium ones, it doesn't seem like that much that it's, you know, ooh, this one's a 5x5 five five and this one's a 7x7, seven seven, but it adds up. It really does. And I know I'm, I'm killing the base right now by removing all the power poles, but I would really, really like to get away from these small poles ASAP. So let's take down those for right now, and we can kind of just rejig it to, you know, what will work with these new power poles. Because, like, look at how few I need now. I mean, unfortunately, there are some, some, yeah, some situations where things will overlap where it's just not going to work in an ideal fashion. But you can still cover a lot more ground. Like, I could get all of those with one power pull. Like, that's so much better than using, like, four. So we're going to continue our run here. And we might actually want to do something like this, just so that in future we can have a little bit of power for maybe some coal there. You never know. Oh, I'm standing on it. That's why I can't place it. <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, we're also going to want to upgrade some of these factories to the blue ones just because it increases the crafting speed. I mean, you can see here crafting speed, it's uh, it's over here on the interface. Uh, it says crafting speed 0 0.5, whereas here it's crafting speed 0 0.75. So, I mean, it's somewhat of an increase. And... I mean, every second counts sometimes when you're crafting tens of thousands of something. Oh, that's not going to help. Place the ghost image of it. It's like, yeah, sure. I don't have robots that are going to go build it yet, but sure, you can place the ghost. Placed a ghost image. So yeah, I think that looks cleaner with some bigger power poles and away we go. We've still got some research cranking out. Let's see what we can do. Let's grab some gun turrets. Let's grab some bullets. That's not very many bullets. I should probably, like, offload these into a chest or something. So that I can just come along and, you know, control click and get, like, tons of ammo. Well, and of course it's night. Silly me. That's okay. I'll set up like a... Well, maybe I can just fall back to these guys? Because I want to see if I can like push a little bit into here. Well, that seems to handle itself pretty decently. Nice. They have trouble, like, navigating the tree. Like, so do I, as I get stuck in the trees. But they have trouble navigating, so the turret can, like, pick them off before they even get close. Ah! Okay, that was a little close to me. No, oh, ammo! I'm just standing here repairing it while it's shooting. Come on, get a leg up. Come on, you can do it, turret. You're awesome. Okay, quick, give me this one. Give me this one. I need the ammo from it. Crap. Double turrets. No! Dang, there's like so many worms in that base. Oh, how am I supposed to take those out? I mean, that turret's pretty much dead as soon as it runs out of ammo, unless I can get back to it quickly. Man. How do you take those things out without lasers? Because, <laughs> like, you have to load every single turret. It's annoying. And it's always going into, like, your guns. Oh, the other one died. Ugh. Crap, 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 crap.
yeah, defense-wise, no concerns. Offense-wise, how am I going to do this? Hmm. <laughs> that base is going to cause me issues. I know it. And the longer I wait, the stronger it gets. So that's a concern. Let's see. I mean, I could go for some heavier armor. Uh... Gun turret damage definitely could use some improving bullet damage, bullet shooting speed. Circuit network, grenades. Let's get bullet damage. I mean, every bit helps. A vehicle could help, too. So we'll see. But I think, unfortunately, for right now, that is about all the time I have for this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you're not too disappointed that uh, all of this progress over here happened without anything being shown for it. But we built this chunk today. We got all the inserters done and kind of smushed in there. Got green science up. Got some basic research up. Um, I might work on some of like the really long researches in between episodes, because like these guys, they they stack. And I mean, until blue, and that takes a while. And there's not much point in showing that all the time. So maybe I'll work on some of that in between episodes. But I, I really don't think I can take that place out until either I've got like way better guns or like a tank. Or just something. I don't know. Flamethrower? What does it take to get a flamethrower? Uh, flammables which requires oil processing, and that's it, actually. I mean, 20 jeepers, that's cheap. I mean, oil processing. Okay, I think I'm going to work on that after bullet damage, actually, because flamethrowers, they're the answer to all your life's problems. But that will be next time. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave me a like, give me a comment, let me know what you thought. Let me know that you want to see more Factorio, or, of course, you know, other series that I do. I've just been really busy. I've been really, really busy. And, of course, you know, the last episode of Factorio wasn't rendering. Uh, so, yeah. Last things last, if you haven't already... Be sure to subscribe so that I can see you and you can see me in the next episode. Bye-bye.